Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques to learn everything about Excel. All right, today uh, I see this post all the time and every time I try and solve this question, I, I continually forget how to do it. So I wanted to make this video and show you. Uh, what we have is we just have some simple data typically two columns worth of data and the user wants to create a chart and they create a chart that looks just like this and you notice that they have a very small access points uh, vertical access for the tea and the coffee is really large so these are in the hundred thousands these are below a thousand so they want to move uh, the series to the second series um, the secondary axis and so what they find is their chart now is overlapping so instead of a clustered column chart they're getting a stacked column chart and they go why am I getting a stacked column chart I don't understand uh, let me go ahead and uh, undo that change and you can see um, it was once before it was just one single chart but these blue lines for T were just so small so it's a clustered chart I come in I right click do format data series on my second axis and move this series to the second axis and it's making them look stacked and I don't understand so um, typically people are going to go in here and try and uh, change the gap width and you can do that but it all it does is make one smaller and one larger so you see that they're not actually stacked column charts now it's still a clustered one it's just however they're both centered and overlapped over the same spot the overlap doesn't do anything either and so uh, let's go ahead and show you how we fix this um, so let's go ahead and delete this chart and start over what we want to do is we want to just modify our chart layout just a little bit so um, what we want to do is we want to create some padding first uh, since these are going to be centered we're going to leave T on the primary <clears throat> axis and we're going to move coffee to the secondary axis so what I want to do is I want to insert a column of data and this is going to be the pad um, for the T so that it pushes T to the left then I'm going to insert one more and this is going to do a pad for the coffee um, and so that is going to push the coffee right we're going to put both of these series on the secondary axis and we're going to put both of these series on the primary axis so now now that I have this I can go ahead and highlight my data go up to my insert ribbon go over to my column insert column chart button then we're going to just do a 2d clustered column all right so now we have our chart uh, so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and right click on any of the coffee series um, and so um, the first thing that I want to do though is uh, this is not giving me um, the way I wanted my data because I've padded in those so I want to select the chart I want to go up to my uh, design ribbon and then under the design ribbon there's the switch column and rows button so I want to first do that so that I get these lined up the way that I wanted them originally um, and now that we have those what I want to do is I want to right click or click on the coffee column anywhere in there make sure you select it and you see all of them highlighted right click do format data series then you're gonna see series options and you want to change these series options to the secondary axis now it's close to what we want because we put some padding in there but you see it's still overlapping so what I want to do is I'm gonna select a, any series in my chart and I'm gonna move my up arrow notice my data set over here it's changing which one I selected so I first selected T moving my up arrow I have the pad for T move the up arrow again and I now have the pad for coffee if I have left my data series open I can just come over and select the secondary access it's kind of hard to see where these are you could even add some uh, extra uh, numbers in here so that you can see them on the chart so you'll see I added 777,000 and now uh, this pad coffee is showing up so I can actually just right click on it format data series move it to the secondary axis and look at that we are now um, how we want to see it we want to see January and February um, numbers next to each other for coffee versus tea I have to get rid of this number um, back in my data series if I delete it um, it will get rid of the series because it's just gonna plot zero so you won't see the pads and then the only other thing I need to do is come in and select my legend so select your chart select the legend and then select one of these individual legend points for this pad T hit your delete key 
select legend again, hit the select just pad coffee, hit your delete key, and now we have tea and coffee. We have everything that we want, um, this being on the secondary axis, this being on the primary axis. Um, the only thing that uh, might confuse some readers, uh, and definitely you want to call this out and make sure that you use these uh, types of charts sparingly when you have two axes, I'm not sure which one goes with which. I guess I can assume that the left one is for the left column uh, and the right one, which is coffee, is for these numbers, but um, perhaps uh, put some other labels on top of your axis so that you know which ones are which. It causes the readers to look around a lot more, so it's not the ideal chart, but certainly uh, this is something that always throws me for a loop. Um, when I come in, I usually do just one pad column and they overlap and I, I get frustrated and then I'm like, ah, oh, I forgot, it's two pad columns, leave one on the primary axis, put the other one on the secondary axis, and uh, your chart will line up just like you want. Once again, this is Steve Equals True from Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you can download this free template file for this chart, as well as other exciting charts that you can do in Excel. Thank you.